Hey everybody, this is James. Virginia can't join me right now because she is making a cake. So, I wanted to take this opportunity to show you something that you might find interesting. We've been displaying this standard triptych board. This is the flat version that we'll be sending people. Um, but I wanted to show you the origins of where this game came from. Triptych actually came from the idea of a three-dimensional board game that I made about probably almost ten years ago named Vici. It was, instead of being on one board that has three planes on it on a, on a plane, it was designed to be played on this type of board. This is a three-planed board. One, two, three each plane consisting of three by three playing spaces. So basically you have three by three by three. That turned into a 27 space, three dimensional playing field. Now, over the years, this went through a number of different phases of development and it turned into this and I tried to produce this, but this is far too complicated for me to produce in any large amount. And, actually, it's rather intimidating to see people play this. I know that the triptych game might be intimidating, but when, you, when people see you playing on this thing, it's very intimidating. But, I did want to show it to you so that you can understand where the game came from. And some people actually, actually most people think that this is a much more interesting game. This I made out of wood. I made maybe 40 of them. Not the best, sturdiest construction. But I, I did what I could. It just was not cost efficient to make. I made a number of different versions of this. I've made it out of plastic. I've made it out of cardboard. I've made it out of glass and wood. I've made triangular versions and I've made round versions. Um, pretty much I can make any kind of specialty version out of this and I have and they're all pretty cool. I would like to show you my favorite one that I designed in the theme of Taoism out of glass and wood, and that is this set. Pretty, ain't it? Now, um, <clears throat> while it is round, it still maintains the uh, three by three by three dimensions. There are still 27 places to play. On a triptych board, there are only 24, while on this one there's 27, so it's arguable that there's better gameplay on this, and it, it, it's, it is fun. It kind of really messes with your mind when you have to play it. Um, this is the scoreboard, and these are the pieces. There's still 20 pieces, just like in Triptych, three sets of three with the wild piece. Only the wild piece in this uh, case is this, and the pieces are far more three-dimensional. The, uh, the rounds are actually orbs. The points are, I guess these are eggs, but we have better versions with tetrahedrons. And then the flats are cubes. And then, of course, we do have uh, the wild piece, which we call a hex now, but in this version is called a multi, because it has multiple unit uh, uses. This is the scoreboard. Instead of using the flip pieces that we have now designed, when you would score around, you would put it in here. When you would break it, you would take it back out. And then when you got all three and you win, you would go there. This version actually has its own terminology. It was all based on uh, Latin. And it's all based on the term Vini Viti Vici. When you would get one alignment, you would say Vini. When you would get two alignments, you would say Viti. And when you win, you would bas basically say Vici, which is I came, I saw, I conquered. And when you would say Vici, you say, I conquered, basically you would say, I win. Um, that terminology, I guess, was a little bit intimidating, but sure was a lot of fun. This is where we design most of the basic ideas behind the entire effort of Triptych. It, uh, it, we had, it was in this version for probably about six years. It was only recently when I started working with Virginia that we developed this into the feasible version that we have now, which is called Triptych. Um, this game actually is pretty interesting, 
It's very eye-catching. Most people, when they see us playing this, will say, is that Star Trek chess? And, of course, it's not. And uh, it's a lot of fun. It's, uh, it actually is a whole different kind of strategy and a whole different mind frame. So, I will go ahead and go away now, and when we'll come right back, and Virginia will be with me, and we will show you an example game of how to play Vici. I know you're on, on your seat waiting for that one. So thank you very much, and see you soon. Bye!